Good morning, everyone. Happy Canada Day weekend. My name is Jim Spencer, and I'm taking the services today for Father Jeff while he's on vacation. Morning prayer will begin on page 47 of the Book of Alternative Services. If any serve me, the Father will honor them. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Skipping over to page 49, we'll, at the top, we'll say together the Venite. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. In his hands are all the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The readings today just check, are from uh, the book of Genesis. After these things God tested Abraham. He said to him, Abraham, and Abraham said, Here I am. And God said, Take your son, your only son Isaac, whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah, and offer him there as a burnt offering on one of the mountains that I shall show you. So Abraham rose early in the morning, saddled his donkey, and took two of his young men with him and his son Isaac. And he cut the wood for the burnt offering, and set out, and went to the place in the distance that God had shown him. On the third day, Abraham looked up and saw the place far away. Then Abraham said to his young men, Stay here with the donkey. The boy and I will go over there, and we will worship, and then we will come back to you. Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering and laid it on his son Isaac, and he himself carried the fire and the knife. And so the two of them walked on together. Isaac said to his father, Abraham, Father, he said, Here I am, my son. But Abraham said, The fire and the wood are here, but where is the lamb for the burnt offering? Abraham said, God himself will provide the lamb for a burnt offering, my son. So the two of them walked on together. And when they came to the place that God had showed him, Abraham built an altar there and laid the wood in order. And he bound his son Isaac and laid him on the altar on top of the wood. Then Abraham reached out his hand and took his knife to kill his son. But the angel of the Lord called to him from heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham. And he said, Here I am. And the angel said, Do not lay your hand on the boy or do anything to him. For now I know that you fear God, since you have not withheld your son, your only son, from me. And Abraham looked up and saw a ram caught in a thicket by its horns. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered it as a burnt offering instead of his son. And so Abraham called the place the Lord will provide, as it is said to this day, on the mount of the Lord it shall be provided. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The psalm today is Psalm 13. How long, O Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long shall I have perplexity in my mind and grief in my heart day after day? How long shall my enemy triumph over me? Look upon me and answer me, O Lord my God. Give light to my eyes and rest I sleep in, lest I sleep in death. Lest my enemies say, I have prevailed over him and my foes rejoice that I have fallen. But I put in trust my trust in your mercy. My heart is joyful because of your saving help. I will sing to the Lord, for he has dealt with me richly. I will praise the name of the Lord Most High. 
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The reading today is, the other reading, the New Testament reading, is from the letter of Paul to the Romans. Do not let sin exercise dominion in your mortal bodies, to make you obey their passions. No longer present your members to sin as instruments of wickedness, but present yourselves to God as those who have been brought from death to life, and present your members to God as instruments of righteousness. For sin will have no dominion over you, since you are not under law but under grace. What then? Should we sin because we are not under law but under grace? By no means. Do you not know that if you present yourself to anyone as obedient slaves, you are slaves of the one whom you obey, either of sin, which leads to death, or of obedience, which leads to righteousness? But thanks be to God that you have, having been once been slaves of sin, have become obedient from the heart to the form of teaching to which you were now entrusted, you were entrusted, and that you, having been set free from sin, have become slaves of righteousness. I'm speaking in human terms because of your natural limitations. For just as you once presented your members as slaves to impurity and to greater and greater inequity, so now present your members as slaves to righteousness for sanctification. When you were slaves of sin, you were free to disregard righteousness. So what advantage did you, do, uh, did you then get from all these things which you are now ashamed? The end of those things is death. But now that you have been freed from sin and enslaved to God, the advantage you get is sanctification. The end is eternal life. For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Holy Gospel today is from the Gospel according to Matthew. Glory be to thee, O Lord. Jesus said, Whoever welcomes you welcomes me, and whoever welcomes me welcomes the one who sent me. Whoever welcomes a prophet in the name of a prophet will receive a prophet's reward. And whoever welcomes a righteous person in the name of a righteous person will receive the reward of the righteous. But whoever gives even a cup of cold water to one of these little ones in the name of a disciple, truly I tell you, none of these will lose their reward. The Gospel of Christ. Praise be to thee, Lord Jesus Christ. Continuing on, on page 53 of the Book of Alternative Services, with a summary of the law. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. The Lord your God, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first and great commandment, and the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. The call it today for this seventh, fifth Sunday after Pentecost. Almighty God, you have taught us through your Son that love fulfills the law. May we love you with all our heart, all our soul, all our mind, and all our strength. And may we love our neighbors as ourselves, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A call up for Canada Day, from page 413 of the Book of Alternative Services. Almighty God, whose wisdom and whose love are over all, accept the prayers we offer for our nation. Give integrity to, our, to its citizens and wisdoms to those in authority and harmony and justice, that harmony and justice may be secured in obedience to your will through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen.
We'll say together the, the uh, Lord's Prayer found on page 54 of the Book of Alternative Services. And now as, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of peace enable us to do his will in every kind of goodness, working in us what pleases him through Jesus Christ, to whom be the glory for ever and ever. Amen. And as I would say as a lay reader at the end of the service, go forth in peace to love and serve the Lord. Alleluia. <laughs>